My friends, let me tell you about something that kind of bugged me the other day. Now, for the people who know me, they know that, um, you know, I don't get, I don't complain too much, right? I, I'm, I'm not a big guy on complaining. Now, I do understand that it's, it's therapeutic and that it helps you and, and it does make you feel better. So, I was at the grocery store the other day and there was this young man and he was, you know, doing the groceries, doing his thing. And, and I'm not, you know, going to go into a crazy philosophical talk about life, but I do like, you know, giving a head nod, a smile, how's it going and this and that. And this kid was just not having it, man. It wasn't his mood. Don't get me wrong. I don't think he was a mean person. It was just there was no eye contact. He, he seemed quiet. He seemed weird. He seemed off. He seemed like he didn't want to talk. He spoke too quietly. His body language is giving me this weird vibe. Like, I don't feel comfortable here. Um, and, and the reason why I'm saying that is now, I understand you can't base it off one person, right? I'm generalizing, but it's happened to me multiple times, my friends, where I'm either at a cash register or I'm either at a front desk. And, and let me know, guys if, and gals, if you've come across this too. We're at a uh, cash register, you're at a front desk, you're somewhere where a person has to constantly talk to new people and they have no people skills. And I'm like, this is, this is, this is insane. Like, like in my head, I'm like, dude, what are you doing here? Right? Like, so, so here's, let's break this down. What do I mean by people skills? People skills means be able to hold eye contact. People skills means be able to clearly and concisely explain your points. And if anyone has questions, be able to answer any of the questions that they have and make sure that you are both on the same page. That also means welcoming body language. That could also mean, you know, just basic etiquette, right? Respectfulness. I mean, I mean, these are all things that are involved in people skills. And unfortunately, that's something that you're not taught in school. You're just supposed to know it or it's just, it's taught, you know, at the household. And um, it's tough, man, because I see some people working at, you know, doing these jobs that require that are built on people skills, not to mention, holy shoot, man, sales, sales are built on people skills. And then you have someone who can't hold eye contact or can't initiate conversation. And you're like, oh no, man, what are you doing here, man? And now, my friends, if that's you, this isn't a personal attack on you, right? Because I'm going to go with two branches on this. Branch number, wait, this is, I want to make sure I, branch two or maybe three, depending on how I spin this. But here's my first take. When I see someone who just, I'm going to be blunt, they just suck. I'm like, dude, this is, this is not for you. That doesn't mean you're not amazing at something else. You might be a freaking wizard when you're in front of the computer. Man, you're just in the wrong gig. Let's get you out of here. Let's put you in a room where you don't talk to anyone for six hours and you will just go to town on that computer like no one else can in the staff room. If that's your thing, man, go for it. Capitalize on your strengths. That, that, that's a big thing that I believe in. I'm like, hey, man, you are in the wrong gig. You got to be somewhere else, right? But I understand, hey, man, you're a student. You don't really care. You're working part time. You're just trying to pay for school. I get it. I get it, man. You do respect, whatever, right? So, so that's one thing. You, man, you're in the wrong gig. Number two, you're in the gig because your people skills suck, but you want to improve them. So you put yourself in a situation where you have to constantly talk to people. In that case, man, two thumbs up. That makes all the sense to me. Good. You, you're not going to hold the eye contact. Yeah, man, go work at the front desk. Practice will make it perfect. And I'm, I'm a huge believer in that. And I'm an advocate for that. Put yourself in uncomfortable situations. And if it's hard for you to carry a conversation, if it's hard for you to really be caring and go out of your way and make sure you answer everyone's questions and make sure you're there approachable and, and you're just... You're, you're there with, with everything, right? Your intent is there and your being is there. And just what I mean is you're, you're not disconnected from the person, but you're warm, you're easy to talk to, you're approachable, right? Those are the things that you want a person to have who is a front desk worker, who is a cashier, who, who does those jobs. But it's like, if you don't have them, that's okay, right? Because we're all trying to learn, we're all trying to improve. And if you don't have people skills, I would actually advise you, hey man, get a job where you talk to people. It's going to help you tremendously. Does everybody have to be a loud talking, you know, big smack, enthusiastic extrovert? No, you don't have to do anything, man. You can do whatever you like. In my own experience, though, having a little bit of knowledge in that field can do a lot of work for you. I'm not saying you got to do that forever, but you know, I can totally see a part-time job, you know, working in a supermarket or wherever, really improving your people skills. But those are just my two cents. Um, but yeah, you know, I've just I've definitely like seen, unfortunately, people being teachers that shouldn't be teachers, people working front desk who shouldn't, you know, be working at front desk. And you know, it's weird when I say it like that, right? Because when I say it like that, it's like, oh man, well, Daniel, you just contradicted yourself, man. You just said if you don't have people skills, you should work that. That is correct. It's just sometimes, and, and honestly, I'm only realizing this while I'm saying it aloud. It's like sometimes you'll see someone, you'll be like, oh man, the people skills aren't there. That's okay. You talk to them six months later, and it's like they're still there. And you're like, oh man, like I don't want to go to the doctor because I have to see the person at the front and they're just not, they just don't, they're just always upset. Like what, what's going on with you, dude? Um, 
but but yeah, I, th- I think so that 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 becomes tough on me now. Like it's a personal thing. I'm not saying it's right. I'm not saying it's wrong. I'm just saying when I see someone there who doesn't have those skills, I'm like, all right, man, whatever. And then you still see that person six months later, eight months later, a year later, a year and a half later, and they're still that, and they haven't improved. It's like, dude, this just isn't for you. Like like save the trouble for everybody else. And save the trouble for yourself. Like, go go do something else, right? There's a stand-up comedy joke I heard from a Kevin Hart special. There was a dude who came fresh out of prison. And uh, he, he was wearing a SpongeBob uh, outfit. And he was doing birthday parties. <laughs> and middle of the birthday parties, he'd take off his SpongeBob hat and start smoking cigarettes in front of the kids. <laughs> now, I know, you know, it's a story and whatever. But, but, you know, the mindset is like, hey, man, if it's not you, man, it's not you. Don't try to, I mean, if it's not your gig... Don't try to pretend to be something that you're not unless you are trying to improve and be better at it and you see progress, you know, in that case, go for it, man. Absolutely go for it.